that is some good Global Force Wrestling fanboy tears. Oh, I love it. I love it, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Fantastic. That, that goes down nice and easy on a Monday morning, ladies and gentlemen. It goes down nice and easy. Um... So, uh, a lot of you might know that the man, the myth, the legend, the flat earther, the man that might get fucked in the ass by lizard people, Polston decided to do a little response and he was very angry. Very, very angry. I love it, Polston. I love it that I got to you because I'm actually on a mission. Before I retire on YouTube, it is my mission to take out every single one of you absolute maniacs that's in the YWC. Because if I'm going down, I'm taking you all down with me. Because Polston, um, for anyone who is unaware, is a massive Global Force Wrestling fanboy. Now, some of you might have heard his name before, but for those that didn't, Polston is the type of guy who is regarded as a glorified responder. He, what he essentially does, his channel is essentially built on responding to other people's wrestling opinions. And I have no problem with people responding. Absolutely. The problem is with Polston is that he can't really take criticism very well. One being is that, you know, he tries and takes videos down, he censors comments, and for a man that believes in freedom of speech, he most certainly does not agree with freedom of speech when it comes to professional wrestling. So let's get into the lizard man, the flat earther, the man that is a complete nutter fucking maniac. Polston. So let's let's have a little look at this video, people. All right, how is it going, my magnificent sons of bitches? <laughs> there he is. There's my little man. There he is. Ah oh, man, I haven't missed you a bit, Polston. I haven't missed you a bit. Still got that portrait of your mobile phone, by the way. You think of these Global Force Wrestling fan boys were actually so fucking. Excellent that they had the knowledge you think he would put the phone I don't know like that so everyone can see you second of all Polston are you in the fucking library mate? What the fuck are you doing there? He's he's, he's in a fucking library ranting about an Irish man that disagrees with global force wrestling Polston Polston for fuck's sake just get in your house and do a video there for crying out loud or or I don't know mate. It's just fucking ridiculous at this point Look, look at him! Look at him! Ya fucking wanker! <laughs> I can't wait to fucking bury this guy! I, I, I'm actually really looking forward to making this video, by the way. So, let's hear what the, the lizard man himself, the... I'm gonna come over here? Let's see what this man has to say. Let's have a little look. Oh, and uh, before we get into the video, um... Polston tweeted this out, I'm not going to do a live stream, okay? This will be a straight shoot! Like as if he thinks he's a part of the you shoot fucking team, or he's being interviewed! Like these people le le legitimately think that they're professional wrestlers! And by the way, that's another thing in the YWC, can you all stop pretending that you're wrestlers? You're just a bunch of people making videos about wrestling in your rooms. And I am here today to rant on another fucking YouTuber named General Jerry. Now, understand one damn thing, General Jerry, you are a fucking ripoff anyways. Hell, your fucking name was stolen from fucking General Dark Horse. Oh, you know he's angry when he says that. Oh, I love it, Polston. I love it. So, I just want to clarify a few things here. A lot of people have said, Yo, Jerry, were you named after Dark Horse and stuff? So, while we're at it, we might as well clear this up right now. For anyone who doesn't know, Dark Horse and um, Don Juan Banks were involved in a, in a feud against several other people. And Don Juan Banks called him the General, okay? Because, you know, Don was the dictator. Dark Horse was regarded as as the the general for like one week one week that, that's literally it was and dark horse wasn't really even necessarily involved in it which by the way i actually like dark horse which a lot of you might be surprised at but i actually respect the man and i'll get to that in a minute this is why i actually respect dark horse a hell of a lot more than the lizard flat earther watch that lizard up your arse crack fucking Polston, okay? But here's the thing with it though, Polston, is that you claim that I'm a ripoff 
of wrestling Jesus. You claim that I'm a ripoff of Dark Horse Danielson. We literally just make videos talking about professional wrestling. You can literally use anyone in the YWC and say that they're a ripoff. But there's one thing, Paulston, that people never criticize you for, and it's so hilarious. You really are a ripoff of Dark Horse Danielson. Now, I don't mean that in a joking way. I legitimately do think that you are a ripoff of Dark Horse Danielson. But the thing is with Dark Horse is that he actually had the knowledge to realize that you can get more better viewership and you can do a hell of a lot better when you talk about non WWE stuff. And which, by the way, I haven't really talked about it that much. But for playing a Dark Horse, I think he's actually doing a pretty good job with his non wrestling videos. I think he was actually getting over a thousand views views and stuff. So fair play to the fella. Unlike you and yourself, Polston, you try your best to make that transaction. You seen your little, your little, you know, you seen Dark Horse and you went, oh, I really wish I could get that. But you see, unlike Dark Horse, Polston, you're as talented as this glass. You're bland. You're boring. You're a fucking moron. Like, people legitimately don't take you seriously in this community. You're like, you know that kid in class that shows up, and you know the little kid that acts weird and eats crayons and starts going mad and stuff because a little thing happened, and you all try and avoid him because he's kind of a fucking mental case? That's Polston in the YWC. Everyone avoids him. But I've noticed this kind of growing trend with guys like Polston is that they have to have a posse behind them, okay? That's something that I never had to have, okay? I have been solo by myself. I was involved in Ento Arena, but I have fought my own battles. You, however, you kind of like go to other people and say, oh yeah, this guy, let's get this guy. Um, we, we gotta do this, and, you know, we gotta work, and let's work on the set. Oh, that was another thing from Paulston that I really hated, when he goes, we need to work on the set, and we're gonna, like, as if he's fucking, he, like, he thinks he's KSI doing a fucking diss track, for Christ's sake. Oh, I'm gonna go on the set, and and we're gonna get this guy, okay guys, okay? I'm gonna get this guy in the library, I'm gonna rant about an Irish guy for Global Force Wrestling for, for over 9 minutes, which by the way, if there's one thing that I can praise Polston for, just one thing, I'm so glad you didn't do a hangout. I'm so glad, at least you didn't do a hangout, that's another, that's another video for another day. But Polston, come on mate, you claim that I'm a ripoff? Really? Your entire YouTube career? was ripping off Dark Horse Danielson. And unfortunately, Dark Horse was always number one compared to you. In a fucking feud that we were in with WJ, it's fucking funny, you're kind of like a hand-me-down of every fucking body. You're fucking part WJ, part Sean's view, and what do you do? You read some fucking dirt sheet bullshit and you make a fucking video on it ranting your fucking ass off. Same way that you're responding to a video Looking at the wrestling news and you're ranting about it. Hmm, hypocritical. I think you need to Google that, Polston. I, I really, really, really think you need to do that, mate. Listen to how fucking stupid you sound. You say that fucking Jeff Jarrett should shut down a fucking company. Jeff Jarrett, first off, Jeff Jarrett. What? Anthem runs it. And you're trying to beg them to fucking shut down a fucking company. Why? So you could be right? Objection, sir. Objection. You see, Polston, this is um, a problem with kind of fans like yourself. You see, you're so blinded by the Global Force Wrestling a mirage and how amazing it is. And you defend it so much that logic goes completely out the window. Number one, since Jeff Jarrett has been in charge of Global Force Wrestling TNA, it has been a complete and utter joke. Um, many stories have come out about Global Force Wrestling and its management. Wrestlers aren't getting paid, that's a fact. Promoters, Anthem Sports, are looking to pull out. They want to invest into other things because they thought that there might have been money involved in this. They thought Jeff Jarrett would have taken this to new heights, and he hasn't. In fact, since the launch of Global Force Wrestling, it has become a major, major joke. That's a fact, mate. You can't, like... Mate, come on. Since the fucking start of this TNA thing that has happened, they have changed promoters and TV kind of channels more times than a prostitute has changed their fucking knickers, okay? Wrestlers are walking out in their droves. 
the, 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 they can't even afford to record the show, mate. So, by saying that Jeff Jarrett, oh, he's not to blame, Jeff Jarrett's not to blame, of course he's to blame. The storylines that are involved in Global Force Wrestling is something that people aren't engaged in. Even TNA Global Force Wrestling fans are even saying that this is wrong. When you see TNA fans actually saying that this isn't good, it tells you that it's not good. Come on, Polston. But it's fine, though. It's fine because... It is gonna die, mate. Like, it's only a matter of time. And these little videos, when people look back on it and they say, Hey, remember Polston? That's the guy that was trying to cheer for Global Force Wrestling. TNA's actually dead already, by the way. I was already right. So, to turn around and say that I wasn't right... Actually, I was. TNA's gone. You still have the impact line, but don't worry. That time will happen soon enough. That time will happen soon enough, big lad. Let's see what else the lizard man has to say right now. There's a reason why fucking w uh, GFW fans don't like WWE fans, and this is exactly fucking why. Oh, I was waiting for it. I was waiting for it. The vintage, the vintage TNA Global Force Wrestling fan argument. You're just a WWE fan. See, Polston. I knew you were going to say that. I knew. I knew you were going to say that. And that's why, and I don't know if you've been keeping up with my channel. I don't know if you've been checking me out. I'm sure you have. You know, you're like a stalker. But I haven't watched WWE before SummerSlam. In fact, I've actually completely stopped watching WWE. So what is the definition of a fanboy? Well, let, let's, let's, let's actually put that Global Force Wrestling TNA argument to bed right now. Because I'm so sick of them actually saying that and using it as an excuse. Let's, let's look up the definition of a fanboy. Let's have a little look, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so let's take a little look at the definition of it. A fanboy, a passionate fan of various elements of geek culture, for example, sci-fi, comics, Star Wars, video games, anime, hobbits, which is a bit weird, but um, but who lets his passion override social graces. Um, the other kind of definition is, I went to the mall and almost mowed down some Dragon Ball Z fanboy on his skateboard. Um, so yeah, uh, that's pretty much what the definition of what a fanboy is. And Polston, that's you. <laughs> you see, a fanboy is someone that solely defends WWE. In fact, I have bashed WWE more than I've actually done Global Force Wrestling. I'm the type of guy that looks at logic. You, on the other hand, are the definition of what a fanboy is. So it's very hypocritical for you to say that I'm a WWE fanboy when you don't use logic yourself when it comes to TNA and Global Force Wrestling. Let's talk about subjective and conjecture. That's it. Subjective material and conjecture. That's it. That's all your fucking arguments. <clears throat> so you, you read some article and you get fucking triggered and you're fucking a microaggressions and you have to make a video where you're fucking ranting. Give me a fucking break. Nobody gives a fuck about your fucking opinions. First of all, I'm using logic when it comes to professional wrestling, and I do actually make incredibly good points, I don't mean to brag by the way, but I do make some incredible points when it comes to YouTube, and the landscape of the professional wrestling industry, because unlike yourself, Polston, I'm not biased, but again, like I said previously, you're turning around and saying that, well, uh, Jerry, he's, uh, he's one of these guys that, 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 that reads an article and gets mad over it. Mate, you're literally watching a response video about a global force wrestling and you're ranting about it. Again, look up the definition of hypocritical, Polston, you goddamn gimp. Oh, what, your fucking 99 buy accounts that you're gonna like your video up while I make my computer generated girlfriends. It's about fucking it. Polston, I'm sorry, mate, but even for you, I haven't a fucking clue what you literally just said. I think that you're so. Angry, and I love it, because Polston, you're nice and easy. It's easy to get you angry. It's, it's, it, that's why WJ fucking constantly owns you week in and week out. Because you get so angry when, when the words from your head to, to your lips come out. You go, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. 
Okay, and by the way, um, it's funny how Polston like does these impersonations. You ever notice that he, whenever he does these impersonations, he goes, "Oh, these people will come over, and I, I'm a WWE fanboy." Um, even though his impersonation is exactly what he does. It's a bit hypocritical, Polston. And, you know, I think you were saying something about bot accounts. Have no worry about it, son. I don't need bot accounts. You know, unlike yourself, because the last time me and you went at it, you had to get a guy to bump up a hundred fucking likes on your video. Because... Polston in his grand scheme of things, and I thought a man like yourself, a true Texan, a true man that, that is a man of the people, that believes in freedom of speech for, 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 for Donald Trump, I would have thought that you would support freedom of speech, but it appears to me, Polston, that not only can you put a camera right on your phone, but you don't believe in freedom of speech either, big lad. That's it, that's it. You know what, Jerry? This is the fucking problem. Is that WWE fans feel self-entitled. What was it? Sasha Banks just written a fucking article talking about how these people are always stalking her at the airports, going to their fucking hotel rooms, asking for fucking autographs. And this, Polston, is why you can never win an argument. Because I actually agree with you. I absolutely 100% agree with you. In fact, Polston, I don't know if you're aware, but I made a video that was actually very, very popular about WWE fans giving out death threats, stalking, I even talked about the Lita incident, and I said how disgusting and vile it is for these WWE fans to come in and fucking stalk these wrestlers, giving them death threats, giving death threats to Roman Reigns. And I actually agree with you, Polston. Oh, but... Polston's like, wait, no, Jerry, but you're, you're a WWE fan, but you, you can't do that. You see, Polston, unlike yourself, I have a mind of my own. If I actually see stuff that WWE do that I disagree with, in fact, since last year, I've been calling out a lot of WWE fans. So, again, Polston, your argument to say that I'm a WWE fan, I don't use logic... It's been disputed, son. It's been absolutely disputed. Absolutely fucking insane. It's absolutely fucking insane. The WWE fucking fans are so fucking entitled. There's, they they don't, don't give anything. They never give anything time to fucking build. And all you're doing is sitting there trying to tear down a fucking product. You're not constructive at all. None of you fucking are. Y'all don't fucking offer constructive criticism on what you would do right. D at least TNA. Again, Polston, you haven't done your research right, mate. In fact, in most of my videos, I actually describe what how I would actually do WWE and how I would actually do the show. In fact, one of the videos that I was talking about, I actually said how I would book Baron Corbin. And in fact, a lot of people were very interested about my storyline with Baron Corbin. And did WWE listen? No, they didn't. They didn't listen to me. But guess what? I actually give constructive criticism when it comes to WWE. If WWE do something right, I give them praise for it. When WWE does something really majorly bad with it, then I call them out on it. In fact, I've actually bashed WWE more than probably what I have praising them. But at the same time, I have given them constructive criticism by essentially saying that this is probably the way that they should do it. In fact, that's why most of the YWC subscribe to my channel, because unlike a few other people, I actually constructively criticize the professional wrestling industry, the fan base, and come to a logical conclusion. Unlike yourself, where you say, GFW is the best, it is fantastic. In fact, I don't think I've actually seen you say anything bad about Global Force Wrestling. So again... You're the definition of what a fanboy is, and once again, your argument has been revoked, my good sir. By the way, shout out to Alan, mate. Good sir. Shout out to Alan. Love you, Alan. Hey, in Global Force Wrestling, we don't bitch and cry and piss and moan as near as much as you fucking WWE marks, which is exactly what you are. You're a goddamn mark. So Jeff Jarrett's gonna shut down that fucking... Uh, uh, fucking Jeff Jarrett's gonna shut down that fucking business. Really? Really, Earthworm Jim, fucking, uh, uh, Earth to Earthworm Jim, Earth to Earthworm Jim, that makes- Uh, Polston's doing comedy. Oh, oh, I feel dirty after that joke. Earthworm Jim, that you are going against the Conor McGregor of the YWC, Polston. I am giving you the spotlight. I am giving you, uh, listen, 
Whenever you go against Conor McGregor, Polston, whenever you go against Conor McGregor, it is a celebration. And when you go against me, it's a celebration. So you have to be on your A-game. And you say, Earthworm Jim. Earth the Earthworm Jim. Earth. Ah, it's fucking terrible, man. Ah, oh, st uh, Polston. Stick to your day job, mate. Stick to your day job. Because comedy is not your forte. Listen, there's a reason why a lot of people like me more than they probably do you in the YWC. And that is because your comedy stature... I mean, this is a man that literally wore like a mask thinking he was... Uh, Blake the Reaper! Blake the Reaper! Hi everyone! I'm John Cena! Hi everyone! I'm John... Like, that's something that a five-year-old would do on YouTube, for crying out loud. These, th that's a video that would probably pop up on one of these commentary channels taking the piss out of it thinking that you're hilarious earth to earthworm jim you're going against general jerry and that's the best that you can come up with keep thinking about the flat earther son keep thinking about the flat earther holy fucking shit that's so fucking cringy Boston, don't do comedy mate please please just come up with like whatever argument that you want to do because Comedy is not your thing, mate. Uh, uh. No fucking sense. Why would he put all these fucking people out of fucking- That's all you want to do is be right. You've been crying about the shit for seven damn years. And you still haven't made one relevant fucking point. But I'll make some fucking points to you. Who did you mark out for? Whenever Bully Ray came back, you're marking out for Bully Ray. What? Whenever fucking Sting came back, you're marking out for fucking Sting. Whenever fucking uh, AJ Styles came in, you're uh, marking out for AJ Styles. Samoa Joe. All these people were built up in TNA because you fuckers can't build shit in your own fucking company. Forgive me if I'm wrong, um, Polston, but you claim that Samoa Joe, Sting, AJ Styles... Um, well, AJ Styles, I do actually agree with you on that. I do agree. But, even though TNA fucking screwed him over, so again, your argument's invalid there. But forgive me if I'm wrong, but Samoa Joe actually became more famous in Ring of Honor. And then he went to TNA, he did some things, he wasn't gonna get paid, and he went to WWE. Sting! Are you saying, are you literally taking credit? Oh my Jesus Christ, you have lost your goddamn mind, mate! You're saying that TNA is responsible for, to making Sting famous. One of the, in my opinion, greatest companies ever, WCW. Yes, Polston, I'm, I'm sure you're surprised. I'm a WCW fan, believe it or not. And the thing is with it, is that you're claiming that TNA made Sting. And you say, I'm a fanboy. Sting was made in WCW. He only went to TNA because he didn't want to go to WWE. And also, by the way, on the subject of TNA and Global Force Wrestling and you claim, by the way, I do agree on some of your points. I do believe that WWE is actually using a lot of the indie guys when it comes down and bringing them in and they're not making original characters. That I do agree with you on. And again, I'm probably, you're probably falling off your library chair there saying, well, wait a minute, Jerry agrees with me? What the fuck? But anyway... You are literally claiming that, 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 that Global Force Wrestling is responsible for these stars when most of them actually came from Ring of Honor. But recently, a lot of these stars that have come in to TNA and Global Force Wrestling or whatever the hell it's called were actually originally in New Japan and other kind of Japan feds that were over there. You can't just say that they're TNA originals. They're from other promotions. That's like, again, saying that WWE made AJ Styles, he didn't. AJ Styles became incredibly famous because he was very good in the indie scene. In fact, AJ Styles had a hell of a run, and I don't praise Ring of Honor. I don't praise Ring of Honor that much, but um, I think he, what he did in Ring of Honor was very good. New Japan Pro Wrestling, and I, I'm fuck a lot of you are surprised about this, but that whole Bullet Club thing with AJ Styles, I actually liked. I didn't watch a whole lot of it, I will admit that. But I have seen some clips online and I thought it was actually very, very good. But to claim that you were the one that actually made Sting in TNA, 
WCW made Sting. You can't just take credit. The very thing that you're saying about WWE is the very thing that you're saying about TNA. You can't be a hypocrite, Polston. You can't have it both ways. Again, mate. Get your arguments straight, mate. That's the truth. And now you're gonna fucking cry. Because other people get over. Fucking talent leaves WWE and then they go and build up their star. They end up getting over in Global Force Wrestling and then they come back. Just look at fucking Drew Galloway. Y'all were marking out for him. <laughs> Y'all were talking, oh my god, you know, we got Eric Young. We got all these Bobby Roode and all this other fucking shit. All fucking TNA fucking talent. Number one, I don't enjoy every single TNA guy coming over to WWE. In fact, I think that they're doing it a little bit too much and it's actually making the product look cheap. However, on the subject of Bobby Roode, which I actually like Bobby Roode, um, and various others that have come in. However, to claim that, these, that WWE is solely to blame because these wrestlers came to a company, which by the way, they can actually get regular paychecks. The reason why Bobby Roode, Eric Young, Samoa Joe, AJ Styles, every single one that has come from TNA, apart from Jim Storm, but anyone that's come over from TNA to WWE are actually getting paid. And who's to blame on that? TNA is. Because they weren't paying the wrestlers. That's like saying to a wrestler, sorry, but you know, you got a family, um, but you gotta stay loyal to TNA. And there was nobody that was more loyal than Bobby Roode. Bobby Roode stuck with TNA thick and thin, and guess what happened? They screwed him as well. Just look at the, what they did with AJ Styles. They tried to destroy his debut coming to WWE. A guy that is that literally made TNA a household name. And wh what way did you treat him? You treat him like trash. And guess what? They're actually getting paid, and in fact, AJ Styles has become more of a household name when he has come to WWE than uh, whatever he was in TNA. And it's kind of sad, mate. It's sad that you, uh, you're you so loyal to Global Force Wrestling that you're so blinded when a wrestler is over there in TNA not getting paid. They want to get a better life for themselves. They want to get some mainstream attention. They actually want to do well with themselves as a wrestler. So when they go to WWE, you turn around and say, Oh, but WWE, you're just taking credit for them. TNA screwed them, mate. Dixie Carter screwed them. She screwed the whole lot of them. Out of money. She told them lies. She's a vicious fucking liar. She ruined, she tried to ruin these people's careers. And that's something that nobody calls out. Because these wrestlers had no choice. They had to go to NXT, they had to go to WWE. Quite simply, because there ain't no fucking money. There ain't no money. Young Bucks, for example, I always bash them. But guess what, they were in TNA. They were getting fucked. And guess what? They, they went to New Japan and they've had a hell of a run there. Okay? I don't see why. You know, but I actually do respect them, by the way, because they actually give you a shout-out on Twitter. So, shout-out to the Young Bucks. But, I don't agree with everything what they do, but they're getting quite popular in New Japan Pro Wrestling. So, to turn around and say that WWE made these wrestlers, forgive me if I'm wrong, but TNA was the one that screwed them first and gave them no choice. I'm disappointed in you, Pulse, and I thought that you would have developed over the years, but you're clearly the same old guy again, and it's a crying shame, man. What was it? Not that long ago, they had a pay-per-view where they had a couple of football players, and um, Robert Flores, which was my local news broadcaster here in the Central Texas area, he was uh, our news broadcaster, now works for ESPN, was, what, doing commentary on uh, one of their shows? The fuck are you talking about, man? Does this, can anyone tell me what the fuck he's talking about? They've got fucking interest. A hell of a lot more. You have fucking... WWE, you fucking fuckers have killed the fucking wrestling product as a fucking whole. You people like WJ making your stupid fucking comments. I don't give a shit. I don't care what you people think about wrestling. This is why I don't even watch the wrestling shooters. I don't even watch the smart busters anymore. Fucking old monotonous fucking crying about shit. That's it. Same way that you're literally crying about a wrestling opinion. Like, Polston, you're not making any logical sense. And, um, like you're saying about the smart busters and wrestling Jesus, 
Polston, forgive me if I'm wrong, but you constantly bitch about WWE over and over and over and over and over and over again. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense, Polston, mate. It really doesn't. It really doesn't. Like, what the fuck are you talking about, mate? This guy is... Oh, fuck, when's this video over? I swear to God, this is just a big fucking waste of time. Paulson, I thought you were gonna up your fucking game there, big lad. I really did. I thought you were gonna up your game, but it's getting out of hand. Look at, look what you've done, Paulston. You fucked up my microphone. Look what you've done. Your, your bullshit has broke my microphone. Look at what you've done. Look what you've fucking done. Your fucking bullshit arguments have broke my microphone. <laughs> You fucking cunt! <laughs> Here is all bad stuff. You're still gonna talk about the shit. You're still gonna talk about the shit. You can't help yourself. You're like a bitch in fucking heat, man. You're just out there. Oh, I gotta talk. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh TNA. TNA sucks. Oh, it's garbage. You've been doing that for years. You've been doing that for years. Same way that you've been bitching and moaning to other YouTubers over their opinion for years and years. You see, do you remember the time when the Smart Busters put this fucking twat in his place? Do you remember that? And that isn't actually the first time he ever done that. For over the years since I've known Polston, he's a glorified responder. In fact, people are literally removing him off Facebook because whenever you say one little thing, he's he gets like all worked up. He gets so worked up. People have to people have to think like I do. People have to think like I do. Everyone has to be Polston. Polston, I would rather cut my genitals off than try and be anything, even 1% like you. And it's just ridiculous, Polston. Like, your arguments are, oh, he bitched about wrestling. You bitch about WWE. Oh, you bitch about this. You bitch about that. Mate, it's fucking YouTube. We're here to entertain people. We're here to make people laugh. But you, though, you take this shit way too seriously, big lad. You take it way too serious. It's unfortunate. I'm surprised I haven't took your library card away for you fucking ranting on me, you goddamn twat. Whenever I did that argument against the smart busters, whenever I said fire the guy with the nose, I was trying to sit there and tell you that's how ridiculous your fucking arguments are. No, Polston, in that instance when you went against the smart busters and you said fire the guy with the nose, but, uh, by the way, the logic said fire the guy with the nose, that's how ridiculous they are. No. Um, second of all, it looks like you haven't got over the burial that the Smart Busters gave you. Third, um, whenever you did the fire the guy with the nose thing with, um, the Smart Busters, you were made a laughing stock out of. In fact, your stock dropped dramatically once that incident happened. And it's the same thing with when, whenever you go against me. Whenever you went against Don Juan Banks and enter the arena. We put you in your place, mate. You are a literal meme of the YWC. In fact, you're kind of aging now. You're aging. You're an aging meme. Like, you know, it, it, like like the guy from Chocolate Rain. Like, nobody watches that anymore. Same way nobody gives a shit about you anymore. And I actually don't understand why there's some people that think Polston's the best shooter in the YWC. Also, saying that somebody's a good shooter in the YWC is the most dumbest fucking thing that I've ever heard in my life. It's the most it's just cringy, man. Like, people, people say I'm fucking cringy, but for Christ's sake, look at the fucking state of you, mate. I'm gonna shoot on this guy. I'm gonna shoot on him. First of all, you're, you sound like a gay porn star. I'm gonna shoot on you. I'm gonna shoot on you. You fucking freak. Get the fuck away from me, Polston, you goddamn loony bin. <laughs> That's what your fucking arguments are like. So every time you sit there and try to say, fire to die with the nose, and try to insult me with that, you're really insulting yourself because that's what your fucking arguments are. What? What are you talking about, man? Complete and utter subjective arguments. And don't fucking tell me that fucking Brock Lesnar is better than fucking Bobby Lashley. Have you fucking watched the matches? Have you compared them? No, you haven't. Bobby Lashley is a better fucking uh, talker than Brock Lesnar. Bobby Lashley's better in the ring. Oh boy, he's on a fucking TNA fucking masturbation fucking craze now. I'll just leave him at that. You see, Polston, the problem is with you is that, number one, you're a glorified responder. Number two, you can't make good arguments worth of shit. And number three, you're a dead meme at this point, mate. Like, you're a literal fucking joke. 
okay? And over the past few years, I've been actually reasonably nice to you. Um, I've kind of let you get away with a few things. Okay, I have actually, and there's been a lot of people in the YWC that have gotten away with a lot of shit. But all that changes, ladies and gentlemen. All that changes. Because I'm here on notice. I'm here on notice to say to these YWC members that if you fucking don't use logic, if you talk the biggest pile of shit, when you make videos in the library to try and get, like, go help anyone that has to listen to you fucking ranting in front of your computer and someone's trying to read a Harry Potter book and you hear some twat going around and saying, Jerry, I hate you, Jerry! You Stop bashing TNA! Like, I mean, stop being a twat, mate. Stop being an absolute twat. So, Polston, you are my first victim when it comes to to the YWC. By the way, undefeated against you, big lad. Undefeated against you. And by the way, um, before you do post him, um, number one, um, if you do a live stream, I ain't gonna watch that shit. Just to let you know. If you do some live stream and stuff, because I know that's the craze in the YWC and stuff, where whenever they're gonna respond to someone, they do a live stream and they do it for three hours or whatever. No. Stay away from that shit, mate. Um, second of all, stay away from me. I'm gonna block you on Twitter. Now, a lot of people might think, Oh, Jerry, you're censoring him. You're censoring him. You see, the problem is with Polston is that he is absolutely obsessive. I've given po Polston multiple chances. In fact, I was surprised I hadn't blocked him on Facebook sooner. Because he's just a complete and utter fucking moron. The guy is an attention whore. That's what Polston is. Uh, in fact, there is a theory behind it that Polston isn't actually a true TNA fan. Now, if he's a TNA fan, that's whatever. But I think Polston uses this TNA Global Force Wrestling thing as a platform for his own game. And I think he does this because he wants to be the best. He wants to be the best shooter in this community. And Polston, I hate to say this, but you will never, ever, ever amount to me or anyone in the YWC because at this point mate you're a fucking joke this is General Jerry on the General Jerry channel signing out oh those tears they taste so good